I'm Aileen Kaminsky Crum. Today is my 63rd birthday. And I feel like I'm in my prime because I have more energy than I've ever had. I have mental lucidity because I'm sober and I feel like I have a lot to give and I'm receiving a lot of love from the people around me and I feel like this is one of the most satisfying periods of my life. I think I was the first autobiographical women cartoonist and so I started something that then really developed into a, a huge art form, but I think a lot of it was timing. It was that 60s period of openness where there was a moment in the culture where there was an explosion and an acceptance for more honesty in work. So I think I slid in there. And then I had, you know, so much angst and alienation from my upbringing that I had a lot to get out and a lot to tell. And I think I was so um, driven to tell those stories, I didn't stop to think about what would happen or if it would be successful. So a combination of that inner drive plus the timing, I think, helped me catapult my art to a point where then there was more acceptance in the world for that kind of art. And then I married my husband, who's fa a famous artist in the same medium, and having his, that name helped me and hindered me. That's been a blessing and a curse because, you know, I will, I can, people will automatically look at my work because of the name, and then a lot of times they'll automatically judge me harshly because it's so, my work is so unlike my husband's work. And I'm always compared to him. But because I started working way before I met him, that doesn't affect me personally as an artist. But it has affected other people's perception of me. And someone recently on some internet site called me a talent, talentless parasite. And I decided that might be the title of my next book. <laughs> Talking about facing death. We're talking about the loss of beauty, which for women is a very sad and complicated issue. I mean, it's not what I faced my entire life on, because I, I didn't think I was very beautiful when I was younger. So I developed other coping skills. But I am um, into preserving what beauty is left, <laughs> and I don't mind enhancing it. And I take really good care of myself, and I don't feel that as some people think that enhancing your beauty is in any way uh, in conflict with your spiritual development, you know. I think you have to keep the inner and the outer in harmony somehow, and when those things are out of whack, it looks grotesque. And I think you have to know when to stop and when to put on the moo moo, let the hair grow white, and to start dancing around like a crazy clown. <laughs> I had like uh, some kind of surgical intervention, but not exactly a facelift, where they put some fat in your face. A long time ago, though, about eight years ago, because I, I started seeing, like, my grandmother's, I call them julaps. There's these things that hang down, like, dewlaps are what dogs have, julaps are what old Jewish ladies have. So one day I looked in the mirror and I thought, Grandma Fanny, I love her, but I'm getting those julaps. So I decided I would see if I could do something about it. And I asked a friend who'd had a lot of surgery, but looked still good, you know, if she would introduce me to her surgeon and I asked if he could do something, he said, no, absolutely. And so I had that done and it was really effective because I had it done like eight years ago and they never completely came back. And I'm very happy. And uh, then I've just like recently had a few injectable things and that's it. It was kind of a great achievement to finish Lawrence High School with this nose intact because I was the only one of all my friends that didn't have a nose job by Dr. Silver or Dr. Diamond. And I was in his office having my nose measured, but I escaped. But I like the way I look better now, so I'm happy, that's all. Yeah. The, the outside feels like it matches the inside correctly to me now, so, you know. Right at me for some? A bit of a smile? Is there kind of a motto or a, a philosophy that you live by today? Um, I try very hard not to judge other people and human weakness and I, I try to be more accepting of other people and thereby more accepting of myself.